Hello everyone! Na-miss niyo ba ang mga vlog ko about Maldives? Well, this will be my last vlog about Maldives since nasa Pilipinas na ako. Ikikwento ko sa vlog na ito kung paano ako nawala ng trabaho at kung kamusta na nga ba talaga ako after that. It was last year March when I went for my normal holiday. Everything was well planned and everything seems okay. I came home last year March 12, 2020 and then by March 15, nag-close yung airport and then total lockdown. By the grace of God, nasa Pilipinas na ako bago pa man mag-lockdown. It was a very scary moment but... By God's grace, I was able to come home and not to go through quarantine. Pero rewind muna tayo. Bago man ako umuwi ng Pilipinas because hindi ko nga inaasahan na Magiging ganito yung ending ng story ko abroad. Hindi ako nakapagpak ng gamit. Hindi ako nakapagpaalam sa mga friends ko. And hindi rin ako prepared sa nangyaring yun. Kumbaga, yung pag-alis ko sa property, walang closure. And that makes me so sad. Then, 2021 came. First quarter, mga January, I receive a call from my manager. Akala ko papabalikin niya na ako. But on the opposite, yun pala, sasabihin na nila sa akin na you have to move forward because uh, magliles kami ng tao and your position is no longer part of the new structure because bago na ang structure, binago. Uh, hindi ko alam yung mararamdaman ko nun. At first, Parang sa sarili ko, okay lang kasi at least nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Kasama ko yung family ko in times of this very scary moment. But at the, uh, on the back of my mind also, paano na yung pangarap namin? Hindi enough yung savings. Paano na yung monthly naming panggastos? Baka hindi natin kayanin kasi marami pa akong binabayaran yung bahay, yung sasakyan, naka-mortgage siya sa banko, and all the bills that I have to pay every month, nakayarin ba ng asawa ko? Yun yung mga naglalaro sa isip ko. Kung baga, sa isang barko, lulubog na kayo, kailangan may itulak na isa sa dagat para hindi lumubog yung barko. Unfortunately, ako yung kailangang itulak. But then, nalungkot ba ako? Yan ang sasagutin ko sa inyo mamaya as I go along with my story. Nung sinabi na sa akin nung manager ko that I have to move forward, ganyan, tapos na talaga. Ang um, naisip ko agad, okay, I have to close this part of my life. This chapter is already ended. I have to move forward. And yun yung kaagad kong instinct na, o sige, ano ba ang pwede kong magawa given this situation? Malulungkot ba ako? mag -e emote ba ako? Or magpapasalamat ba ako sa Diyos? Magiging masaya ba ako? At that time, yung savings medyo nauubos na kasi nag-pandemic so lahat ng pera lumabas. Can you imagine almost like a year ng walang trabaho? So, ang dami-daming naglalaro sa isip ko. Ang daming worry. After that meeting, I have to tell it to my family. But, they are very supportive to the point that at least you're here with your son. Especially, online class. So, kailangan talaga ako ng anak ko sa mga panahong ito. Well, fast forward to now, sometimes nafe-feel ko pa rin yung lungkot knowing na walang proper closure yung pag-alis sa akin dun sa trabaho ko. I've been there for almost 9 years. 
nine years of my life na hindi ko man lang nabigyan ng proper ending, kumbaga, kaya nalulungkot ako. And at the same time, yung plano ko kasi na parang isang taon or dalawang taon na lang ako doon, enough lang para mabayaran yung mortgage sa sasakyan at ng bahay at nakasave ng konti, then I'm done. Pero hindi yun yung plano ng Diyos. Ang dami ko kasing kilala sa abroad na lagi nilang sinasabi, one year na lang or two years na lang until they realize na 15 years na pala sila doon or 20 years na pala sila doon. Yung mga ganong moment, feeling ko kung mas tumagal pa at wala pang global pandemic na naganap, yung one year ko na plano or two years magiging five years, magiging ten years, and then later I will realize na it's over. I spent my half year of my life there without spending it with my loved ones, especially my aging parents and my growing son. Balik naman tayo dun sa anong feeling ko at ako ang itinulak nila sa barko para hindi lumubog yung barko. At first, nalungkot ako. Ang sabi ko, bakit ako? Bakit ako yung natanggal? Pwede namang si ganyan. Pwede naman si ganito. Pero ngayon, mas narealize ko nung pag nagpipray ako na, ay oo, ako na lang pala dapat talaga. Kasi ako yung makakasurvive sa real world. Hindi ko sinabing hindi sila makakasurvive. Pag tinignan mo lang kasi yung situation ng workmate ko sa department namin, meron doon dalawang single parent, yung isa yun lang yung job niya na kinalakihan, ever since yun na yung trabaho niya. Baka pag sila yung tinulak sa barko, baka hin- mas mahirapan sila sa gantong sitwasyon. Although ako nahihirapan din ako, but alam siguro ng Panginoon na kakayanin ko. Kaya okay lang din sa akin na ako yung tinulak para hindi lumubog yung barko. Yun yung realization ko these days. Kung bakit ako yung dapat matanggal at hindi sila. God's plan is way more better than ours. Hindi man nasunod yung plano kong 2 years pa and then magfo for good na, iba ang plano niya. To be honest, I have this peace in my heart knowing that He got my back. It's easier to praise the Lord if you have enough, if you have the resources and the money and you are so blessed and everything goes well. But it's difficult to praise the Lord in the darkness. One point in your life, makakaranas tayo ng darkness. Yung kukunin niya lahat kung anong meron ka. And ititest ka niya kung will you still praise me in the darkness? Just like what happened to Job in the Bible, his faith was put into test. Sabi ni Satan, he's just praising the Lord kasi meron siya lang lahat. He was very blessed. Try mong tanggalin lahat yan. Tignan mo kung ipipraise ka pa rin niya. And then, nai-imagine ko na God was a very proud dad. Sabi niya, okay, go ahead. I-test mo tong anak ko na to. Ipuprove ko sa'yo na even in the darkness, he will still praise my name. Then after many trials, nagtagumpay pa rin si Job na praise niya pa rin ang Panginoon. Kahit ano pang nangyari sa kabuhayan niya. And at the end of the day, after all those trials, kung anong nawala sa kanya, binalik ng Panginoon ng doble at higit pa. And that's the kind of faith that will lead us to a place that we will be busy catching blessings. Sometimes we don't need to see the whole staircase. A small step of faith is all we need to survive, especially in times of uncertainties like this. kung nawalan ka rin ng trabaho ang kagaya ko, you think it's unfair, you think it's not right, you feel like you don't deserve it, kapit lang kapatid, dahil may mas prepare ang Panginoon na much better blessings for you. You just need to trust Him. Kung na 
nasan ka man ngayon, kung ano man pinagdadaanan mo, ipinagdadasal ko na sana sa video na ito, you find comfort and you find healing at the same time, na bless ka. Maraming salamat and I hope patuloy nyo pa rin akong supportahan kahit hindi na Maldives vlog ang aking mga binavlog. God bless, be blessed, and be a magnet of blessing. Bye everyone!